Welcome to the EcoClad family of bottom paint products. This video will help illustrate the process for applying EcoClad bottom paint. Your EcoClad paint comes with important written instructions, warnings and safety information about the paint and the application process. Always wear the proper protective clothing and equipment and follow federal, state and local regulations when preparing the boat hull and applying EcoClad. The MSDS and product data sheet that came in the box with the product lists the proper protective equipment. You will need the proper respirator, coveralls, gloves and eye protection. Now let's review the basic supplies and equipment you'll need to apply EcoClad correctly. For supplies, you will need masking tape and an EcoClad approved primer. For equipment, you will need an electric sander with 60 to 80 grit sandpaper, paint trays, rollers and brushes, and an electric drill with a mixing blade. Only use roller covers that are suitable for epoxy paints and have no more than 3 16 inch or 5 to 6 millimeters nap. Do not use rollers with a nap longer than 3 16 of an inch. EcoClad can be applied over a previously painted hull with proper hull preparation. First, determine if the existing paint is flaking, peeling, or is soft. In such cases, the loose paint must be removed down to a solid foundation, which may mean removing all the old paint down to the gel coat. You must also determine if the existing paint is compatible with EcoClad by referring to the EcoClad compatibility chart shown here and on the EcoClad.com website. If the old paint is not compatible, it must be removed down to the gel coat. Whenever old paint is completely removed down to the gel coat, the hull can then be treated as bare fiberglass for EcoClad application rather than as a previously painted boat. Next, while wearing protective equipment, sand the entire surface to remove 80 to 90 percent of the old paint. Like all hard paints, do not apply EcoClad over old soft ablative paint since the soft paint will fail and the EcoClad will come off. Sanding dust from old anti-fouling paints and other products can be hazardous. Always wear appropriate personal protective equipment when sanding. Next, wipe the surface with a clean cloth that has been dipped in water. Next, apply one thin coat of EcoClad First Coat Tie Coat Primer over the entire bottom with a 3 16 inch nap roller and brush following the instructions included with the primer. Allow the primer to dry according to the drying schedule provided on the product can and preferably overnight before applying EcoClad. Note that first coat primer can feel dry before it is completely cured. Do not apply EcoClad fast coat until the full drying time has passed. Fiberglass boats that have never been painted as well as boats that have had all the old paint removed require similar hull preparation. However, new boats typically have a thin coat of wax on the hull surface used during boat manufacture. This wax must be completely removed using EcoClad Dewaxing Solvent 989. When removing the mold release wax, be careful not to simply move the wax from one area of the hull to another. After removing the wax, sand the hull below the water line with 80 grit sandpaper using an electric sander to create a roughened surface for the primer layer to grip. Sanding dust can be hazardous. Always wear the required protective equipment and comply with all health and safety regulations. Next, apply at least one coat of EcoClad Protector 848 Barrier Coat Primer to help protect your hull according to the instructions included with the primer. EcoClad Fast Coat is a two component system that must be thoroughly mixed before application. First, mix part A alone for about one minute to resuspend the solids using a drill with a mixing paddle. Next, pour all of part B into part A can and mix together for about one minute. Next, pour the mixed paint in the tray and begin painting. By continually refilling the tray with freshly mixed EcoClad Fast Coat paint, the painting of an entire vessel or more can be accomplished with the same roller and tray. Apply EcoClad Fast Coat paint thick enough 
so that you can't see the primer showing through and don't skimp on the paint. Only one coat of EcoClad Fast Coat paint is needed to achieve the desired 5 mils film thickness. At 5 mils thickness, one gallon will cover 320 square feet. You are applying EcoClad Fast Coat paint too thick if you see drips or sags. If you see any of the primer showing through, you are applying too little EcoClad Fast Coat paint. It is better to apply slightly too much rather than too little. The rate of EcoClad Fast Coat paint curing depends on the temperature. At temperatures of greater than 80 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit, the cure time is typically 7 to 10 hours or less. Below 70 degrees Fahrenheit, cure times can take 24 hours or more. When EcoClad is completely cured, it will be non-tacky to the touch. Once the EcoClad Fast Coat paint coating is cured, the boat supports must be relocated to expose unpainted areas. Paint these areas as you did with the rest of the hull, including sanding, primer, painting with EcoClad Fast Coat paint, and allowing time to cure. After all painted areas have fully cured, the boat is ready for launch. Cleanup is easy. Wash your hands with warm water and mild detergent. Do not reuse brushes or roller covers. Dispose of all EcoClad Fast Coat paint items according to federal, state, and local regulations after EcoClad Fast Coat paint has cured to a solid. EcoClad Fast Coat paint is water sensitive and similar to all other bottom paints may watermark if allowed to get wet before fully curing. Use a tarp or other shelter to protect the uncured paint if rain or heavy dew is likely. In most cases, the watermarking will disappear once the boat is launched. For additional information or to ask questions, please visit www.ecoclad.com or call your sales or customer service representative.